Good evening, everybody. This is uh, Ryan Rokloff with uh, Hyper. Uh, this is a Hyper Hot Take. Uh, today is May 1st, 2024. And it looks to be that uh, an 8K filing took place uh, today from uh, Dropbox. This was reported on by Bleeping Computer as well as uh, the record.media. And it looks like on April 24th, uh, Dropbox sign, formerly Hello Sign, uh, was uh, had a, a third party access a system or a service credential uh, and through that um, <clears throat> access or through compromising that account uh, they were able to gain access to um, quite a bit of the system environment uh, as this system was responsible as they dis as they disclosed in the 8k uh, the threat actor had access data including Dropbox signed customer information such as emails, usernames, phone numbers, and hash passwords uh, in addition to general account settings and certain authentication information such as API keys, OAuth, OAuth tokens, and multi-factor authentication. Uh, that means that this the system account, this configuration tool that they had, uh, had quite a bit of access and or privileges uh, within their environment. Uh, I know that there was a notice that I think went out to all the customers uh, of Dropbox Sign uh, that it is time for the, the users that were the uh, the customers to reset MFA as well as passwords. Uh, and if you had integrations, if you were maybe an integration provider or maybe you were an application provider that had integrations and, and supplied um, customers with the ability to set those credentials, um, all of OAuth 2 settings, so client IDs, client secrets, most likely all have to be reset as well. Uh, and API keys all need to be rotated out from a customer standpoint. Uh, it does look like Dropbox IR team went through and, and did all the things that they could do in this situation, according to the filing uh, and based off of the information that's in front of me, uh, by going out and killing all the sessions, resetting every, every password within the environment, uh, and reviewing, obviously, access controls and things of that nature. Uh, it's a pretty devastating um, incident. Uh, one thing I, I would say is on a positive, though, in these situations is the cooperation with government as well as the public filing requirement. Um, this is an 8K, Section 105. It For them, they had this issue occur on April 24th. This is filed on May 1st, uh, so six days, but technically I think we can go with four business days outside of the Saturday and Sunday window here. In historically before the the rules for the these type of filings we may not have seen this for six nine months uh going out into a public context maybe even a year uh or maybe it was just a finding that made it into one of our lovely uh verizon breach reports or say x-force from ibm or name name any of them mandiant uh you know reports so this is a positive sign i think for industry the one thing that is concerning obviously is that this level of access is now telling every customer that they have to go reset MFA. Uh, and obviously here at Hyper, we're, we're very staunch supporters of FIDO, WebAuthn, uh, PassKeys. And if those, if that was implemented, um, at least there could be a little bit more, less uh, remediation or mitigation requirements on customers. They wouldn't have to go through and reset, say, a Google Authenticator. Uh, seed within the environment and and you know that's a little bit a little bit better it doesn't cover everything uh, obviously it wouldn't cover the API challenges it wouldn't cover the OAuth um, challenges but it would be one less thing that we would have to go through in mitigation which I think would be another positive situation uh, with the adoption of pass keys because uh, if the third party was able to gain access to say the public keys of that pass key it's rendered useless they're not going to be able to do anything with it um, but with all, with all situations, uh, such as this, any kind of incident response, any kind of breach notification, uh, my hat is off to anybody who is working IR, anybody who has to work through these situations, uh, the, the nights that you're not sleeping, uh, and all the rotations that you're going through, uh, all the work, all the scavenging, all the, all the, um, lovely little spots within an environment that you may not have been aware of at some point in time that you do now have to be aware of. Um, hats off, it's, it's not an easy, easy part of the job.